The Takeover with... The Radio Goddess Moe. Moe. All right, so it's not every day that we get the chance to sit down with Mama Africa. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, me, it's been long coming. It's so crazy how I've been on radio for three years and I can't believe that I have not actually had a sit down with you. We have not Otherwise. discussed anything. We haven't gossiped. We haven't actually But that's what we're going to do today we've right? We've known each other for a while For ages you know? Ages I mean no, You know what Let me just say this here I am so proud I'm so proud of you Because I literally knew you When you just started Yes that's And true. it's just so amazing How that's you're true. now A world Thank you're you. a world star Thank Like you, you know so much, And I really like the fact That you did tag Mama Africa mm. But it, it's quite interesting I've always wanted to Ask you this question Yeah Did you feel that The tag Mama Africa Aged you mm. In any sort of way No I, I do know that the, the females before me The female artists before me That um, were tagged Mama Africa And Princess of Africa ETC Were much more older Than I I was As at the time That I put out The album Mama Africa So it did not age me because Mama Africa is timeless the mm. way I see it. I don't it's it's a phase that you go into and it does it's not it's not bound by time. Mm. You know, it's who I am, it's what you are as well. You know, we're all as long as that African blood is in you and you're female, you're Mama Africa, Mama Africa is taking care of the world, the wealth of the entire world. It's pretty much end of day funded by mm. the entire Africa and what it has given. Yes. And, so and, and there is something really linked to Mama Africa, Mother Nature. You know, exactly. That and is it. It's, it was just my time to tell my own story from my own perspective. That's just... Good, me. good, 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 good. And that's that, that you really have told. I'm so excited about, you know, your upcoming album, Woman yeah. of Steel. Yeah. Why that title? Why Woman of Steel? Do you feel like you've been through a lot um, as woman, a female artist? It never stops, you know, for female artists and for everyone in this world. It's like this growing up thing is just a setup. You know, mm. every every day, every minute, you know, even when it seems like okay, the paycheck is making it work, mm-hmm. there's so many other things that will still come up that we need to make up for. So it's like life itself is a big setup, and everybody has their own trials. You can't count on on the same people every time to help you out every time there's an issue. So I just realized at some point in my life that I had been my own superhero and I'd been my own cheerleader and I was just I decided I was going to applaud myself for that and mm-hmm. I decided to call this album Woman of Steel it is everything that I am at this point where I am right now okay now you 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 clearly seem to be a fighter and I think that's what I love that's what is sort of a trap uh, you, you, you want to deny fighter, you want to deny that you're a fighter and you start pulling out the sleeves okay this is where you fought and that is where you fought and that is where you said fit in your chest like King Kong you know yes yeah. so I think I am a fighter mm. you know I'm a believer of um, truth I yes. love truth yes you know, it, it helps you see you know the BS from reality okay and you, you, speaking about you know the truth or your truth it's been quite some time that I would say that I noticed you you really were very vocal about certain topics yeah um, recently you were very vocal about um, your dancer that was arrested by the police mm-hmm. um, what was the outcome of that well um not a lot of people know this, but my dad was a retired commissioner of police before he passed on. So pretty much, even though I know there's a lot of negatives out there on social media concerning the police, it just really hit home times 50 to know that my own dancer would just be targeted for no reason, mm-hmm. just as a lot of citizens are being targeted. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to just sit down and look. It was a public holiday where I should just be, you know, trying to set my feet upon solid ground and just chill. I had to still set out. Um... My own, the major thing for me is that I, I take this boy around the world, Thompson, and when you see the video, you would think he stole something. You would think mm-hmm. that he did something inhumane because they were flogging him with that big chain that was in that video. Gosh. He was hospitalized after that entire um, situation. Luckily, we saw the video it nearly went up, so we called someone that was that was in a higher place. Um, um, rank than the officers so they let him out on early he would have slept in the police station wow. and god knows what they would have done to mm-hmm. him you know but other than that i now finally petitioned and then you know we spoke to um, the assistant commissioner of police this i didn't put out because it wasn't necessary i just wanted justice served you mm-hmm. know but pretty much he's fine now okay he's been taken care of That's he's good. back to dancing we're shooting a video 
like we're always doing. Mm-hmm. So everything is back to normal. He's nice, normal. nice, nice. Well, at least I have to commend you, um, you know, for actually sticking your neck in for someone that is obviously a part of your team. Yeah. Now, speaking about your team, your team is actually very, very small. Yes. And is that was that done consciously? No. It, how do I put it? I feel like... Um, if you dig deep, like really deep, and if you study a lot of huge enterprises, you find that the core of every enterprise is just a very few number of people. And then there is the, um, what's, what's the word? There's a permanent unit, and then there's the semi-permanent, and there's the, there's the affiliate um, department. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So even though there's the core of the entire team, there's still all these other segments scattered around the world. You know, the fact that even as a person, you, you would find yourself in a situation where you are pro Yemi Aladi, in as much as you're not receiving the paycheck at the end of the month, you are a team member. a part of the team you know so every single person is important but the core always remains small nice. always nice I, I i do i do love that yeah. so let's talk about you know your friends in the industry <laughs> um you you are particularly close to certain females yeah shay shay victoria kimani but there always has been this sort of divide yeah between you and tia savage yeah what are your thoughts on that? Do you personally think that that was done by fans? Was that done by the both of you? What was it? Okay, so let me even just rephrase. So you know that I, you, you, you feel from what you see online that I'm mm-hmm. close to the Cherokee man. Yes. Close to Shay Shay. Yes. Um, and a whole bunch of also, other females. And, uh, yes, and maybe Waje or Mommy. Mm-hmm. But you can also sense from social media that there is probably an issue between me and another female artist yes but the truth of the matter is all social media we know they fight anybody you know there's misunderstandings here and there most times it is just people trying to cook up stuff yeah no so would you say those are the fans the media it's just people because I don't know how to I, I cannot call those people fans mm. you know if you outright you can't say something now without anybody thinking that you're referring you're stopping someone else mm-hmm. you know and it's mostly for the females I feel like Females are targeted too much. Yep, a bit too extreme. Like recently, there was a there was a little clip that circulated where they were um, shedding light on how female um, superstars were interviewed on the red carpet compared to the guys. The guys will ask them, "Oh, who are you wearing?" Mm-hmm. No, they hardly even ask them, "Who are you wearing?" They're like, "What are you expecting for tonight? Mm-hmm. Do you think you would win for the nomin? Um, the, would you emerge the winner of this category you've been nominated in? What movie you be looking forward to uh, featuring next year at the blah 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 the Oscars?" And the females, the females, they're like, "Oh, what are you wearing?" And then if, for instance, they're in this movie with another female that we're probably having an issue, like, "Oh, do you guys fight even in real life?" Mm-hmm. You know, it's like gossip time, yeah. and we are way beyond that. We work three times harder and even more than the guys because yes. we always have to prove a point you it's not that um, okay because we are working harder that means the guys aren't working hard no but it's the way this world has been conditioned it's crazy how the women that give birth to the world have to still prove a point mm. and this is how it has been since you know the beginning of time but I feel like people should stop targeting females and start to applaud their every effort because we need you guys in our ring we need mm-hmm. you by our side mm-hmm. 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 nice 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 I love the way you answer that so let's speak about a phenomenal woman that you have worked with, Beyonce. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how happy and excited I was when I saw that video where you got to meet her. Yes. Oh, how was it meeting Queen B? The number one lesson I learned is don't get <laughs> lost in the moment. You know, when you are trying to, when you're waiting your turn to take pictures with her and the paparazzi, they're trying to eat her up literally with snap, 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 snap. And you're right there in the middle trying to make sure you don't miss that mm-hmm, opportunity mm-hmm. because to be crazy to be sincere yeah i feel like which is actually what happened so i had landed in london and i was going to relax for three days because i've been traveling too much mm-hmm. but then we got a message from walt from um i think it was walt disney saying that we were invited to the premiere of um lion king in london and that they had a special surprise for us before we knew what was happening we got a message from her pa saying that there's someone special coming to see you. You guys should please be there. 
had to find a way and I got there. Um, there were five of us, two female artists, the oldest producers and Mr. Tayali. But I said, the point that we got there, she wasn't supposed to do the red carpet. It wasn't part of her schedule, but it was a personal request of hers Aww. to make sure that she met these five individuals. Nice. So she made time and made space for these pictures to be taken. Wow. So at this point, everything I make, as I, the way I narrate it now, it just seems very organized, but things were happening at the speed of, of light. Everything was happening so quick. And I realized that, Yemi, you're not on Twitter You're not on social media You're not watching a video You are in the you video You are in the moment Hence As you See this woman before you Absorb every detail So I started to absorb So now I can draw her I know her complexion Wow I know Is it true that her skin is like milk? Oui madame Damn Is it true that she's kind and gracious? Yes she is Aww. Is it true that she She was just as excited and Almost even more than we were Because she kept doing this You know like Every time she had a second For her stylist to come brush her hair She would look towards her And be like I'm like Oh, that's so sweet Who's gonna do that? Me or <laughs> you? you? Like you, if you're doing excited. that What do I do? <laughs> well, now, let me be excited For myself oh, too now, nice you know, She was sweet She was sweet Lovely was lovely sweet. So, so let's actually talk about The collaboration itself So was it that it followed After you met Or was it that it was before? Because I hear that they were in town, at least her music execs and, and whatnot were in town years before they dropped the gift album. Look at that. Um, I keep telling people, because um, uh, during the period that our names came out on the track list, mm-hmm. a lot of interviews there coming in from Rolling Stone, all of them, boo boo. And everybody was like, how did this just happen overnight? I'm like, being a female artist, being an artist in general, period. If you're going to, if something of this um, magnitude is going to have such imp- impact, it was never done overnight. It was mm-hmm. cooked on. It was mm-hmm. modified for such a long time. Now, you giving me this information about the team being in town, like from years back or whenever, that actually makes sense because it's the only way to get ground research on what you're going into. Mm-hmm. I feel like they put in a lot of time and sweat. Um, when they hit my management up, um, I was in. A very, I had a very tight schedule trying to make up for appearances, my performances here and there. I finally got to LA. Unfortunately, I landed without a voice and I had booked my tickets for three days. Mm. So I had two days of no vocals. I couldn't talk, I couldn't sing, I couldn't Gosh. do anything. Um, so there was communication between my management and hers and then we eventually went into the meeting. Um, we did not see per se until after, until after, we met at the at uh, the premiere, the premiere. But to be sincere, I was when I went to the office. I was her, her office at the Parkwood office. I was even more excited to see that someone was just as excited about Africa than I am. Why? Because everywhere in the entire office, in all the seven studios and in all the offices, there were pictures of African interest, like African heritage. It's like someone had hacked into my pin interest. Yeah. And I just <laughs> put put all the pictures on one. I'm like. Yes. Wow. You know, so awesome. even, even when I was done recording, I told myself, when I make this, um, the track listing, because they were down to 150 songs already. Mm-hmm. They had selected from a very long list and they had selected 150 songs before I even came on board. Mm-hmm. And there were two weeks to wrapping up the entire event, the entire project. So when um, I told myself that I'm going to do all that I can, and even if I don't make it on this track list I know I gave my all because I can see that this woman means business yeah yeah wow and then I made it I made it on two songs yes, and I had did. five credits you know? amazing amazing and obviously you're getting your royalties by God's grace yes that's that's awesome Yemi Yemi how are you hey I'm just, Yemi you have blown past me uh, like you're like you're blown past wait, like, yeah, you, 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 you blown past this whole room like oh, can yeah, we can, can we really continue you're here I'm popping you now <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're talking about bottles. Shout out to you know your collaboration with Bel Air. Yeah, um, let us in on that as well. How okay. did that come about? Um, they reached out to my team, and unknown to me, they told me that I was going to have. Um, I'm going to be interviewed, and I had no idea there was the actual owner of the entire Bel Air series. And Bel Air is a very old um, classic brand, and mm-hmm. they've they've been like there's so many other brands that they that they own as well. I can't remember names now. Bamboo, well, Bamboo is that, that, those are new babies. Mm-hmm. There's like the Grey Goose and yes. um, the Ace, is it Ace of Spade or Ace, yeah, Ace I think of so. Spade. that's yeah. all the Jay Z. Yes, exactly, all of that and. 
Tara right there is the owner and he interviewed me for a long time. We had a lengthy conversation and pretty much we're almost like friends now. He tells me wherever he's traveling to. I tell him where I've been to. He wants to come to Africa. I'm telling him the great cities to be at, you know, and he's super excited. You know, when I told him that I was also premiering my first shot movie ever in Nigeria. Yes, he I heard about all, that. Exactly. He sent all the bottles and, um, you know, there's so much more that we want to do together. Awesome. And of course, they are like the the bridge between myself and Rick Ross, even though he's my friend now, so I call him Ricky. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they were obviously, yes, yes, they, they definitely facilitated that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Awesome. So, how was it actually recording with Rick Ross? Because, you know what? I watched an interview <laughs> with Rick Ross and he said this thing about females. He said, <laughs> he said that he see? personally could not necessarily um, have a female under his label because it means he'll have to do some other room activities with with her <laughs> I know I know that's actually no, what Rick no, but he, did, he did come out and apologize after he said that but was that the sort of vibe that you got from Rick Ross or was he you're making proper, me rethink my conversations proper, with him now a proper gentleman <laughs> was he a proper gentleman uh, well actually he was he a was a proper gentleman okay. like he he had words I hadn't heard before <laughs> you know. okay but he was I'm always that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. But um, Rick was very, very, very gentleman. Rick, he see, was, see, see how she's calling him no, Rick? No, no, well, he is Rick, right? Okay. Just rough? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was very accommodative. He he let me even um um what I say I wanna say intrude, but I sort of like changed his styling um for the video. He was mm. very accommodating of the entire African brand. And even after the oh my gosh video um hit the, the screen, I noticed that his his following up videos of his own personal ones had a, a touch of Africa, you know. It it was obvious that he that I left a stain on him somehow mm. and I was even way prouder than I've always been to be African, you know. So nice. Yeah, he, he's a great guy and he decided to call me one word, motivation. And I'm I'm sticking to that. I'm holding on Ooh. to that, you know. And so is that what he's got your your name saved as on his phone? Motivation. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one there. So yeah, I mean you've done all these amazing things. Obviously you, you just mentioned about, you know, the short film. Mm-hmm. Are we going to get, you know, like a full movie eventually from you? The way it seems, because the few people that I have been able to show this uh, movie in private, just to just to watch the reaction as a third party, and they're like, "What happened next?" To be continued, <laughs> you know. And I'm excited to know that all the days we put into shooting this actually paid off. Like I, I hate to have the camera in my face when I have no makeup on. Ugh, just like me, but hey, here I am. You know, because I just feel like the camera <laughs> never really highlights what the eyes will see. Like the mm. eyes would see beautiful things and the camera will find a way to find some things that even I can't see mm-hmm. on my own face true true you know? true true so, but this time I had to let down my guard and you're, you're going to see me in a light different from ever 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 nice. before yes I'm Ooh. super excited very excited for you very yes. excited for you so with everything that has happened so far now and obviously with the album coming short film working with Beyonce working with Rick Ross being on all these amazing international brands what do you think is going to be Yamiya Lade's legacy? Mm. My legacy. Oof. I, I believe that I'll be the woman who um, who never believed in impossible. I feel like everything that I put my heart to, I have pretty much achieved. And there's so many other things I'm yet to achieve. The the most important thing for me of everything that I I work towards is to make sure that when you know like the regular girl out there five years a guy or boy whatever when they see me they can they can believe and they can believe that they too can achieve what i've achieved my legacy definitely is um reaching for the skies my music most especially i i feel like i am the angel of happiness i like to share and spread happiness especially through my music that's like the foundation and most important thing for me you know mm. so I, I and when I meet people and people say oh my days when I listen to your music I feel I feel stronger like my legs can't stay still I want to dance I want to move that right there is as far as I'm concerned a legacy but moving on as old, as, as I get older I pray and hope that I'll be able to you know have a more artists even under my um, my care to okay, show the way nice. you know to be where I am where I was where I want to go to you mm-hmm. know as long as they're willing and able to um, understand and adapt mm-hmm. I'm pretty much ready to 
bless the world with more music yay and we can't wait we can't wait let, let me just go back to the album yes. um, what did you do different on this different. album um, I wouldn't say that the thing I did different wasn't exactly like the the thing I, I I set out to do but I found at the end of the day when we selected the 12 songs that made the album that there's a song for everybody you know okay. I I I did genres that I haven't um, exactly um, delved in I've, I haven't you know done in a while mm-hmm. also um, certain topics that um I decided not to speak on on social media. I decided to put them in a song. In a song. Okay. You know, certain questions that I get that like I decided to love address. Life. You know, st- stuff like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just here to listen. You know, all those random <laughs> questions that they ask the girls that look full of life. You know, literally yeah. and physically. You mm. know, they say the biological clock is ticking. Yeah. Your talk, your whole clock. Yes. Is, yes. Your own, no, it's yes. not my own. Uh, I don't have clock. Uh, See me, I'm six weeks, sixteen. Like. Oh, Hot girl summer they da, old they time. Da, uh, no, no, summer seasonal. The old season. Hot girl season. Ah, old season. Ah, old season. Ah, <laughs> the season. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, stuff like that. I'm just really bearing out my 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 mind, you know, as I sim feet. Yeah, and I tried um, things I haven't done in a while, but I think when you listen to the album, you you would feel it would hit you in a way mm. that. Um, haven't it's people in a while okay really really excited about that Yemi mm-hmm. so guys as she has said Woman of Steel definitely you want to cop it and I cannot wait to listen to it as well yes. super duper excited thank you so much Yemi for coming on the show I've always wanted to ask you this last question actually because yeah. you know like you are literally the most travelled female African artist you know that I do waka I know I do waka I do waka I do waka so where's the best place that you've been to. Now that's an unfair question. Ah, there are just so many. That, there, there's so many. Like there's something beautiful about everywhere. You know, like everybody when you ask them about Lagos, the first thing they say, "Ah, the madness is so much." But then there's something. There's something that 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 when you're in Lagos, you feel like you can achieve anything you set mm-hmm. your heart um, mm-hmm. to achieve. Um, but I must say, recently I got the opportunity to visit um, Malabo, not Malibu. Malabo. Malabo okay. It's just an hour's flight from here, but unfortunately, because we don't have any business um, dealings as much, I'll we'll have there. to go all the way to Ethiopia and then connect and then- to. Malabo. Wow. I'm telling you, this our Africa can be Damn. exhausting when it comes mm-hmm. to flights. That island. Beautiful. It's an island. Wow. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. It's and it's in so- Africa. It is in Africa. Like it years, 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 years ago, like many centuries ago, they had volcanic eruptions. So some mm. of the sand on the beach is black, like coal tar. Like wow. it's so interesting. You can see the variation. You can see time taking its place. You know, I, I studied geography in school. So like when I see this, I'm just even more excited to Aww. see the practical. You know, I've never been to a volcanic um uh, a place. City. Ha- yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't. So that was my first. That was time. your first. I think anybody and everybody should visit. Should visit. Yeah. Malibu. Mm-hmm. Okay, that will be down in my um, wish list. Uh-huh. Hopefully, it's you that will carry me there. Hopefully, that would be yeah. great. <laughs> that would be great. Girls trip. You know. I need <laughs> Thank a you so much. Thinking yes. Thinking about that. Yes, you do need a holiday because you are constantly working. Probably after the album. I know I'm lying, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Yemi, for coming on the show. You're such a light. I absolutely love you and you, really excited about the album. Thank you so and I wish much. you all the best, hoping that it won't take so long again for you to come and visit me. Yes. For a quick chat. Yes. All right. Yes. And guys, she cooked for me. Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, tell them, tell them, tell Look, them. Look, you guys be, be following me away on Instagram just to be seeing some hot calves. Come to my page too for hot calves. But if you want food, <laughs> I think food to help feed your own calves. Yes, uh, feed your calves. Like you got to be uh, yo, you Check out my Insta story. I'll, I'll be eating. Though. Oh, mm-hmm. thank you so much, Yomi. God bless you. My pleasure. And wish you all the best always. Thank, thank you. you. The takeover with the radio goddess.